My name is Sonia Williams and I am a violence prevention coordinator in New Orleans, Louisiana. Black history is important to me because it's my history and we don't talk about it that much in America. So I'm really excited today to talk to you about Dr. Joycelyn Elders, who is a public health administrator and a pediatrician. As head of the Arkansas Department of Health, she was fiercely outspoken and an advocate for expanded sex education and drug legalization, causes that were highly controversial among conservative and religious groups at the time. Yet, despite the opposition, Dr. Elders expanded the state's prenatal care program, reduced teen pregnancy rates, nearly doubled childhood immunization rates, and increased home care options for the chronically or terminally ill. Largely because of her lobbying, the lar largely because of her lobbying, the Arkansas legislature mandated a K through 12 curriculum that included sex education, substance abuse prevention, and programs to promote self-esteem. In 1993, appointed by President Bill Clinton, in spite of opposition from conservative critics, Dr. Elders became the first Black U.S. Surgeon General from 1993 to 1994. As Surgeon General, she continued to advocate for the possibility of drug legalization and contraceptions in school. Dr. Elders is currently a professor emerita at the University of Arkansas Medical Sciences and regularly lectures against teen pregnancy.